Good morning. Uh, as you can see, at Mirandal, um, a couple of people have asked for us to do a weekend warrior here. I know Patrick and them are doing a whole bunch of work on a brand new trail, which is going to be insane. So they're redoing the, the, the descent from, the, from Dawes Bay, as well as the climb up. So it's going to make it a bit more accessible for people. But for now, we're just going to take you on the, the loop and we're going to show you what to expect, where to go. Uh, I haven't been here in ages. I don't know what's changed. So we're going to find out together and we hope you enjoy. Uh, really cool place. I started my mountain bike journey here. Um, it's a great entry point into the mountain bike world. Um, so let's go check it out and we hope you enjoy. See you out there. Okay, so we're at the start. Um, the blue, green, yellow roots all start in the same place. Uh, so let's go check it out. So the, the first bit is around a block of vineyards. Um, Mirandal does get a little bit waterlogged in winter and uh, does get a little bit muddy. So let's see how it goes. Um, but for now, really dry. Um, uh, also, there's uh, a whole bunch of trails here that you would have heard about, um, which are fairly iconic. Uh, Barry Thunder Berms, Christmas Tree Descent, um, Stairway to Heaven, um, yeah, there's, uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, again, not sure which ones are still in operation and which ones are not. So we're going to do the old traditional route or a route that I would do. You can obviously mix and match as you go along. And uh, yeah, come check it out. Mirandal is, uh, is back under the care of Patrick Roberts and his team. And... Um, they're doing some amazing work here. They've got a new descent, which we filmed not too long ago. We'll tag it up above. And, or you can just watch to the end of the video. How about that? And uh, yeah, just, uh, it, it's fantastic. Um, it's very cool. And we're gonna go left here. You'll see the new descent coming down uh, on our right-hand side of here. Beautiful morning, everything's green. It's my favorite time of the year on these trails because it's just absolutely beautiful. Um, some beautiful weather this morning. Cape Town's uh, had a whole bunch of rain. Um, okay, so we go left in front, just next to the marquee. Um, on the right hand side is where the runners go. So we're gonna go down. Yeah, like I was saying, Cape Town uh, has had quite a bit of rain of late and it's wreaked some havoc on our trails. So a massive big thank you to all our trail builders who enable us to do what we do and to go out and have some fun. Um, yeah, Bennett's had his hands full in Yonkers Hook. I know Vaynant's had his hands full in Banuk and Patrick over the Tiger Book Trails, Darren in Paul. Uh, so yeah, it's just been, it's been chaotic, but they've done the most to ensure we can still go out and, and have some fun. Um, so yeah, a little bit of a wet patch here in front. Let's choose the path of least ah! resistance. And now I have brown mud all over me. Um, yeah, so Mirandal, um, it was the OG back in the day, um, the trail that everyone came to do. And then obviously as you develop your skills, you um, progress to something more and more technical, longer, steeper, rockier. Yeah. Um, up ahead, I see the single track climb is closed. So like I was saying, sometimes Mirandal gets a little bit muddy. Um, we're going to do the climb straight up the road um, on our left hand side is a single track climb but because of the gradient and where it's situated the water uh, tends to sit on the trail and it makes everything really muddy so we're gonna do the climb up the road um, Mirandal is great for walking um, they do park runs here on Saturday mornings I think they still do 
Um, so if you're a runner, please just be aware of morning, of uh, people on the trails. Uh, yeah, so we started our journey here. Melissa started her journey here. And we progressed from here. Um, so this was way before we had e-bikes. And, um, oh, caution snakes. I remember encountering our first uh, puff adder here. Back in the day. Okay, so the yellow route takes you back from here. We're going to take the blue. Um, so we're just following the markers. Uh, Mirandal is very well marked. Wow, this dam, I don't think I've ever seen it this full. That's absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, so Mirandal has a bit of everything. There is, there's a bit of, a bit of climbing, uh, a little bit of descending. There's nothing too technical. Um, there are no rock gardens, uh, no crazy jumps, um, no crazy drops. Um, I think that's all going to change though, when the new descent from the top of Dorsberg is done. Um, Oh, I think there's a bird that's not too happy with me at the moment. Um, but we are out of the hair now. Um, yeah, the new descent from Dorsberg is going to be inside. Patrick took me up there not too long ago. And we went to go have a look at it. And it is fantastic. Um, they've rebuilt the entire descent. Um, it's brand new. And uh, as far as we know, um, it's going to be open to the public in the next two or so weeks, uh, weather depending. Uh, they've taken the old climb, the old descent, and they're making that into the climb so we don't have to struggle up that crazy rocky Jeep track again. Um, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be cool. Okay, so now we're heading up um, I think it's a porcupine climb which goes into the pomegranate descent so let's go check it out the green route goes straight we're doing the blues today haven't done this in so long I think the last time we did this I was on an analog bike and I was fairly fit I think I've lost a little bit of that now um, but I am having way more fun on the e-bike um, our riding has changed a tad uh, we used to enjoy quite a bit of cross country longer distances lots of climbing and now we enjoy descending so more enduro style of riding and the e-bikes afford us the ability to do more descents in one day um, than we would be able to do with a normal bike um, and yeah loads of fun thank you Munir cheers cheers Um, we've stuck the, the bike in turbo today. Um, so after this, we're actually heading to the Traverse to go film with Patrick. Uh, the new Patrick's pen drop for the week. And we'll be focusing on some of the traverses and corridors. Again, just sharing the hears with you guys explaining what's out there so you guys can enjoy this mountain bike journey so you can see Mirandal's more focused on um, cross country we had a bit of a wind there some big rain coming this weekend so kind of nice to get out 
just before all of that happens but we're working our way up to our first descent which is the pomegranate descent guys please don't quote me on these names um, I realize the older I'm getting the more I uh, seem to resemble a certain friend of mine Mr. Brett Weinberg who needs a GPS just to get to the bathroom um, and I don't always remember the right names but that's what comment boxes are for so please let me know below if I've made a mistake uh, we are a happy community and I'm happy to learn so yeah so as far as I know now we are onto the level where we actually start the descent which is quite exciting um, haven't been here for ages the view is fantastic just down at the bottom you got the lead skills park we've just done a video on that guys please go visit that place is insane if you wanted to grow your mountain bike skill that's the place to do it so we'll tag a video up above and go check it out but for now let's check out this descent this descent used to be super scary it's so nice to know that we progressed a little bit in our riding ability and that's what the lead skills park is all about to get you to progress awesome little descent into some mud and that's the pomegranate descent stuck in the wrong gear <laughs> nothing the trusty levo can't get you out of yeah now we go over we're gonna head up and around to the famed stairway to heaven into the mine shaft my goodness it's been ages still a little bit muddy so we're being ultra careful not to ruin any trails okay the longer blue route has been closed it does get really wet down there um, and I can see looking down now it is quite wet and that uh, longer blue route comes out right here man this is a blast from the past so cool out here we go he used to suffer up here with a normal bike Yeah, we 
we're still climbing a little bit but it's super gentle eh? like you can come out here come spend some time out take this bit by bit stop taking the views enjoy the ride and now we head over the little crest and in front of us we have the famed stairway to heaven this climb used to haunt me every single time we rode here oh it yeah we used to we went from hating it to loving it to hating it um, and the reason being we'd get fit and do it really quickly and then lose some of our fitness and suffer up it um, but yeah see they brick most of it now so that's pretty cool one or two tighter corners so just ride out take a little bit wider there's enough space for you to run off which is quite cool learned from Patrick Roberts this week that there are loads of little springs in this area um, so as it rains those springs fill up and um, they push up through the ground and that's the water you're finding oh long e-bikes and tight corners guys not a great match super slack head angle <laughs> massive turning circles it feels like i'm turning a boat we're just doing it slowly i'm sure there are pros out there that will do it a lot better than i can so on the left hand side is going to be the new climb to the top as well as the new descent and yeah it's gonna be a goodie. So this is the end of the Dorsbach descent, but this descent then takes you all the way down. Um, okay. So we are going to follow the blues. Actually, no, we're not. You know what we're gonna do? We are gonna go find out if we can still go around to the other side of the farm so if we follow these blue arrows it kind of takes us all the way down to the skills park and then back down to the car and that's the blue loop um, we're gonna go see if the other side of the farm still open so this is the route that we would normally take um, let's go see if it's still open to the public Okay, so in front, the dark blue, it's still open. If you go left over there, that's the old Dorsbeck climb. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head up Boris Thunder Berms, and then we're gonna do the Christmas tree descent. Guys, this is nostalgic for me because, like I said, we haven't been here for years. And it's so good to be able to come ride some of these trails again. Crazy to think that after all of these years there are still some stones and rocks in places that hasn't moved. <laughs> I 
absolutely crazy. Nature, they say, is mental. Nature is amazing. Ah, oh, we can see the Christmas tree descent on the other side. This is going to be so much fun. Ah, see what we can find. So if you guys wanted at the back there is obviously the shortcut to take you back down to the car which seems to be light blue arrows the dark blue arrows is the full blue route so just keep keep in mind if you don't want to do these three berms the Boris thunder berms um, and then christmas tree then that would be your option we're gonna go do it anyway but just so that you uh, manage your expectations that's something to keep in mind to suffer up here. There used to be a massive rut on the inside of this corner. Whoa! And now there's a mud rut which I happen to get stuck into and I will let Patrick know about that one. Okay, and now we drop across. You don't have to do the Christmas tree, there is a shortcut down. It brings you out here. And now we're into it. The Christmas tree descent. Let's go check it out. Overcook that one. used to be super rocky that's so much better now and that's the Christmas tree descent oh no we've got another little bit left of it
little bit of mud nothing too crazy ah I forgot how long this is such a cool descent great place to come practice your single track nothing technical uh, just some single track goodness <laughs> so let's see there used to be quite a cool little descent down on our left let's see if it's still open let's see if it's still open yes there's a blue descent it's still here no it's closed because Patrick and them are doing some magic work <laughs> and see where this takes us oh man that tabletop was something that I always wanted to do This is one of the most iconic descents. Brings back so many memories. I'm just trying to give you guys a bit of a Mirandal experience. Okay, so it says no mountain biking down there. Blue route goes up, so that trail comes out over there. Well, it will when it's done. Okay, so this is the slightly longer blue route. So this route is, is nice, um, but you get to miss some of the really cool stuff. Um, if you take a right at the, the top bench off the stairway to heaven, there's, there's quite a nice descent. So what we're gonna do is, we are going to head up and we're gonna go do it for you anyway and it's the, it's the full rundown uh, so today we've done the blue loop the full blue loop um, but we're gonna show you the extended full blue loop by taking a right at the end of this road and going up and doing the full rundown to the bottom Instead of taking a left, which takes you down the new single track to the car. Okay, so that's the entrance to the new single track. We're not going to go there. You're going to be rebels. I'm going to take a right. And we're going to go straight up the Jeep track. So this Jeep track, ironically, is the same one that takes you all the way to the top of Dorsberg, all the old climb up. And um, we're just going to peel off in front to the left and uh, yeah so this is a nice addition if you want to get some more climbing in some more distance uh, we are not riding on illegal tracks these are all very much legal um, so this is a cool route and now also what we'll do is we'll put the Strava 
route. Um, well, we'll, if you want the Strava route, join our Strava club, which is Warren Melissa Riding. And all of these rides that we do, um, we, we post it there. So you can go find the exact route that we rode. And yeah, it'll be cool. And we keep going. Yeah. We're going to take a right over here. And we're going to drop into the descent from the bench at the top of stairway, which is the one on our left. there it is so we back at the bench the top of stairway to heaven and it's a little bit more climbing but we now get to do this full run down to the car if I can get clipped in there we go and hopefully not hit a guinea fowl Bit muddy there. Making some jumps up as we go along. Whoa, a little bit of mud on that corner. Always take it easy with that, you don't want to ruin the trail. Okay. Onto more worms. Jump the bridges. <laughs> Okay, so that's the little descent down from the bench, which is quite cool. I don't know, I find it fun. Um, and then we're making our way around. So that's just an extra little section, you don't have to do it. Um, the climb up and the descent down, and then we back out where we turned right to go do the final run down to the car park which is also brand new they also have this which is a beautiful pump track so come try it out Patrick them have just resurfaced the entire thing the water in the middle is a little bit manky so please try not to fall into that but other than that the mountain bike trail is amazing okay so let's into our final descent down to the car Let's go have some fun. Oh, it's so nicely built. And grippy. And fast if you let go of the brakes. so scared to have mud on the outside of these corners you can't quite see ahead and a lot of it's covered in moss little double little 
double landing into the berm. So nice. Whoop. Little tabletop. Whoop. Little tabletop. Ah oh, man, this is fun. And that's it. Full loop of Mirandal done and dusted. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, come out and come try it. This is a full Mirandal map. There's a whole bunch of rides you can do. Come check it out. Loads of fun.